guys, Sarah here from House of Ezra. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's a new pen day video and full disclosure, I actually filmed this video yesterday when I hadn't used this pen at all. We inked it up together, blah, blah, blah. Watch the video back. Don't like it. It's crappy. There's a lot of background noise. I Yeah, it's just a bad video. So starting it again with a few caveats. I have it inked up, so I won't be able to do that with you. And in another room are some other bits that came with it that I'll just chat through. But let's dive in. I, um, I'm not sure how these videos are going to get released, but I bought a couple of pens off AliExpress. I bought two Jin Hows, and in that video I talk about how I was getting them really for the pen that they were and not to see if I would like, you know, as an example, the Jin How 80. Okay, now I want to go buy the Lamy 2000. This is a little bit different. The Pilot Vanishing Point absolutely is a grail pen for me it's a pen I really want they're they're really expensive and I wasn't sure how I would like the the capless motion and also more so the clip I wasn't sure how I would go riding with with the clip there so part of this purchase was I guess an experiment they're obviously not the same pen but to see uh not so much the nib but the actual the layout of the pen if that works for me and therefore if I do at some point down the track want to go and spend a few hundred dollars on the pilot vanishing point but if we just take this pen for what it is this is the Mahjong or Moonman A1 I got this off AliExpress on sale for around 35 Australian dollars I think it's usually around 50 on AliExpress and on eBay um, interestingly it seems that like Mahjong and Moonman are interchangeable, but on this pen, the imprint is Moonman. This is the matte black, and I got it in, if I can put that in focus there, an extra fine nib. This pen uh, comes with a converter, and it actually came with two empty cartridges as well. There is a cartridge in here at the moment that this kind of cover goes on and the spare cartridge has like a little stopper. So it comes with quite a bit in that sense. Um, in terms of what it looks like, I might as well show you because I've opened it up. That's the nib unit there. The cartridge just sits in and then that, I guess, piece of metal just like goes on top. It just slides in. There's a little raised bit there that you line it up with and it screws this pen for me worked straight out of the box the push button feels good doesn't feel clunky it all fit together after no no issues inking it's kind of really hard to see but there's like a a, a door oh my voice went weird there there's a door that then opens the nib comes out and it comes back. So I filmed the video that I'm ditching last night and I haven't used this all day today. So I'm interested to see if it hard starts. And over time as I use it, really interested to see if it, if, you know, with this capless design, if it dries out quicker than other pens. One thing I do notice with matte black, especially, but with the matte black pen is your hand oil really does get picked up on it. Your, your fingerprints and whatnot can get seen pretty quickly. Uh, is that a reason not to like the pen? No. Does it annoy me? Yes. This pen, I'm just trying to find it. It had one little kind of indentation on it. And you know what? It was so small that I probably won't even be able to find it now. There it is. So that is, I guess, something maybe with a more expensive pen that would be picked up in like quality control. Whereas on this mass produced, it's just something to note, but you know, down here, you can't see it doesn't affect the writing experience at all. It's just something I guess that I noticed. That's the clip. Um, I don't know. I don't really use clips. so I don't really know what to say about them. It feels like a clip. It feels stable. It doesn't, really bother me writing like this but I've only had the pen for a couple of days and haven't used it that much so I'm going to put it I think in my next month's ink rotation to really see what that's like that's what it looks like in my hand it's of a decent weight it's got a nice weight to it let's see if I can grab ooh, don't drop your fountain pens grab a pen for size comparison what do I have 
here. Now, obviously, you can't do capped and uncapped, but maybe what I can do is like this. So, oh, why don't I just leave it like that? That's what that pen looks like. So, similar to a, a capped Twisby. See, so you can only 5S uncapped, because really that's what your writing experience is going to be. Bigger than a Twisby. Pretty similar to the pilot. So let's talk about how it writes once I put these pens away. Weight wise, it's definitely heavier than a Twisby. I wouldn't say it's double, but notice noticeable in the hand that it is heavier. This pen is inked with Lamy Obsidian. Um, it was just the end of a sample that I needed to get rid of. Let's go to a page so we can look at the, the ghosting and everything else. So this is Moon Man A1 in extra fine. Now, I am amazed at how smoothly this nib writes. For its cost, for that it's an extra fine. It is not scratchy at all. It feels so good on the page. Looking at it now, you know, when I was talking about will it dry out or not? Absolutely not. You know, it wrote straight away. It's pretty amazing. I've done one longer page of writing with it and I was just amazed at how smooth it was the entire time. If I bring that up close, I think it also lays down a, a pretty decent amount of ink. I mean, not that you're going to see shading or anything in this, but if you just look at it, you know, it looks saturated, it looks great, no hard starts. Um, that's supposed to say matte, not matte, all my crossbar for the tea didn't go all the way across. Uh, I th yeah, I just think that's really incredible. Really, really incredible. Turning over, I mean, broken record in my videos, but you are going to get ghosting and nostalgia. No bleed through there, no feathering. It is a black ink as well. I'd be interested in it. I guess, a, another ink. Would it ghost as much? But that is just incredible. But it's just really smooth. There is no feedback really at all. Just trying to see. There's no scratch. There's no feedback. I feel like it glides across the page. I always run out of things to write. I always also try and write fast um, to see if it's going to skip or not, and it doesn't. It's, I mean, it's not a flex nib, obviously. It's not a bouncy nib at all. It's quite stiff, but I don't mind that. Um, for me, I could see, especially this one, the Moon Man one, because it is a bit cheaper. Uh, I definitely could see myself taking it to work. It's so easy to just get it working. And if it did get banged up a bit, then I'm, you know, possibly damaging something that cost $30, $40 as opposed to a few hundred, which... I would feel better about, but also just for how quickly it writes, like, and great it writes. I think that's fantastic. Um, so a shorter video today, but really because I don't have too much else to say about it. I think that just writes really, really well. That's incredible. Do you know what we can do? Why don't we do a comparison? So this, and I wrote Happy Holidays in another video. However, I'm not sure when this one's coming out. So this could be like middle of January and I'm writing happy holidays. But it's just past Sarah wishing you guys happy holidays. So that is an extra fine. That's the Moon Man extra fine. This is a Twisby extra fine. What else can I, you know what we can do? Oh no, I don't think I have it. What other pens do I have in here? Most of I've run written dry most of my currently ink, so I can't. Oh, I know one more I can do. 
And then this is the Jin Hao 80 extra fine. So two Chinese brands and then a Japanese in between. Pretty similar. I'd say that the Jin Hao is the, the thinnest of them, but writes really well. It's obviously hard because they're different ink colors, but pretty, pretty incredible. So from my point of view, do I want to still go out and buy the Pilot Vanishing Point? A hundred thousand million bazillion percent. However, am I also completely amazed at the Moon Man capless? Yes, I think it's incredible. Writes really, really, really nicely. Definitely want to do a test, like leave it for a week and see if it dries out or not. But also I don't have tons of pens currently inked, so I would never probably go a week without using without using, sorry, a an inked pen. But further the cost. I think that's incredible. Really, really impressive. And I think it looks pretty good too. So that is the Moonman A1 capless pen. This is the matte black. I got mine off AliExpress, but I know they have them on, on eBay as well. Uh, really great pen and I can't wait. I'm definitely going to include this one in my January currently inked. I would love to know if you guys have this pen or if you do have the Vilishing, Vilishing Pilot Vanishing Point. Or actually, does anyone have both? And how do you feel going between them? Is it really obvious to you? Do you prefer one over the other? Or even if you just have this one by itself, what are your experiences with it? If anyone's found an ink that just sings in this pen and that the pen loves, let me know because I, I would love to find a great pairing for it also. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I, I say it every time, but I really do appreciate it. Um, that's, I will keep saying it because it's genuine and true. Um, I, oh, I'm excited to like go and journal with this now and ink it up for January. What a cool pen. Um, anyway, that's me just nerding out on camera. I will chat to you guys all again soon. See ya.